We have brand new B jump scans, and I'm going to go over all the news coming to Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Let's dive in. Okay. So, we have official uh, Dragon Ball V Jump scans um, from the official Twitter and also courtesy of Proton. Big shout out to Proton. I will have that linked at the end of the video here, uh, his Twitter. Very solid guy for providing information. But if we take a look at the V Jump scans here, we have Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, Limit Breaker, right? And Super Saiyan 3 Rose that transforms into his transformation, right? We have the side units that we knew was coming, Vegeta, Broly, and uh, Fu, right? Looks like we're getting some extreme Z battles, which we'll go over here in a second as well. And then all the old characters will be on some of these banners and featured, unfeatured, all that good stuff. But Legends also got a V-Jump scan. I'm not too big in the Legends uh, player base, but I do play here and there, not too often, but mainly Dokkan Battle is my thing, right? So we're going to be going over Dragon Ball Hero stuff and everything in between. So we got the official scans, and it is looking to be like a very, very fun and good celebration. Also, Xenoverse 2, it looks like they got some V-Jump scans. But once again, thank you to Proton for the providing the information on his Twitter. Um, but I am very excited for this Dragon Ball Heroes uh, celebration to happen. Um, I think everyone should be... I really, really believe that they could make Vegito pretty busted. Same with Super Saiyan 3 Rose here. I mean... At this point, they really should just make these cards very long-lasting viable and bring some life back into the crossover category. It is a cool category. I mean, in my last video about hero stuff, I talked about, you know, a lot of these characters and how I need a lot of them and how I've skipped in the past, but this year I'm going all in and I'm going to get a lot of these characters, the first copy for a lot of these characters this year. But I think, you know... If they do justice to these two characters, I think it is a solid option to summon for some of these. On my YouTube channel, my posts and stuff, I see a lot of people saying, yes, I'm summoning, I'm going to spend some stones, you know, a few hundred, see what happens. That's fantastic. I've also seen a lot of people say, you know, no way, I'm doing that. Not worth it. It's just uh, whatever, not my thing. And that's okay too. I mean, the whole point of the game is to summon and enjoy what you like in the game, right? I'm very interested to see how they make these characters and how good they're going to be but it's going to be very interesting to see if they just you know give them an okay kit and then call it good and then move on i just don't think that's the case this year especially with the game syncing up later on uh, within the next year hopefully fingers crossed but super saiyan 3 rose transforming and super saiyan 4 vegeto are almost here i'm thinking uh currently it is the 16th right now thursday i'm thinking it will probably be released on the 21st since it's a tuesday so monday night the 20th and um into tuesday the 21st so we will have to see but i'm pretty sure that's the day it's going to come out tuesday the 21st early morning late night for monday right for a lot of players but i think this is gonna be a fantastic celebration man i really do they have some very good easy a's coming which i'm going to show you here in just a second so some of the easy a's that we know for sure coming and once again uh, shout out to proton Vegito, Broly, um, the Deborah thing right there, Toa's coming. Uh, we got the characters right here too, but a lot of these characters are now confirmed getting easy A's. Their stats are pretty darn good. Now it's just a matter of how good are they going to be after their easy A, right? Um, I do have some of these units. Like I have Broly, I have him, I do not have Toa, and then I have uh, Vegeta here and then him and him, but... I haven't done too many summons in the past. I just try to do a few in the past. But this year, like I said, I'm, I'm going all out. I got like 1,500 stones saved up. Hopefully, I'm not going to spend them all. But I do want to get a nice chunk of these heroes units off my checklist, right? But I think what really needs to happen is the Super Saiyan Vegito Zeno needs to get a good kit after his easy A. He's already a great support. He has good stats. But after his easy A, he's sitting at 23,000 HP. That's like LR level, right? So that's for pretty cool same as attack and defense is pretty good too broly look, looks pretty good i do have a couple copies of broly so hopefully they they do him justice as well but again these are the confirmed easy a's that we know of at the moment right at the moment but if we hop over to the crossover category 
Again, yeah, I went over this in my last video, but we have some very, very cool units. So if you guys are kind of new to the game or you're wondering what this hero celebration is, basically it comes around once a year around this time time frame. But it's pretty much just a little celebration collab with uh, Dragon Ball Heroes. If you don't know what that is, it's another side series with Dragon Ball, but it's a very popular game over in the Asia countries and stuff like that. But they pretty much release a bunch of cool characters over the years that kind of fit this crossover category or Dragon Ball Heroes category. Um, very, very cool units. Like, we get to see Super Saiyan 4 Vegito for the first time. Like, we don't get to see that too often. We get to see Fu, uh, Toa. Who else is in here? That's pretty cool. Super Saiyan 4 Broly, Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, and Bardock. You just never get to see, right? Then you'll notice a lot of the fusions units are in here, too. Like, uh, Barlots in here, Kek Kekarot, or not Kekarot, Karoli, my bad. Barlots, uh, Bullpan, Pandel, they're in here, too, because crossover, right? With the, the Heroes or Fusions game. But there's a ton of units I just do not have that I'm very excited to pull for the first time in this category. So I'm looking forward to it, man. I hope you guys are as well. But let me know in the comments down below on this video if you're going to summon or not. Um, I do look at all the comments. I try to provide feedback, and I take feedback as well. So feel free to comment. Let me know what you guys think. I'm very excited to see the Janemba and Golden Metal Cooler Awakenings as well. I hope they do him justice, or these two. I do have a copy of Black... Or not Black Janemba, I guess Janemba Modified is the correct name, but I did not get Cooler. I need Goku and Gohan, or a Goku. I need, actually, no, I do have a copy of Gohan, but there's a lot of copies I need, right? So there's that, but we do have some confirmed EZAs coming up with very, very good stats. Like I said, I think the most important thing is this Vegito coming, and if they really want this to be an, a good celebration that might actually intrigue some people into summoning, Make this guy good, or this guy. One of the two at least have to be good. They both should be busted, in my opinion. Make them at least in the top 10 TURs right now, right? I think that's very reasonable, but... In the past, we have to kind of see what heroes will do. I mean, when is the last good good heroes unit we probably had? Hearts is okay. I think Super Saiyan 4 Vegito on release, he was very good. Now he's not, but after his EZA, he should get some you know, breath of fresh air in him. But I guess we're going to have to see what they do with these characters. Real quick, I do want to go over this as well. I talked about this a little bit in my last video, but currently there are, or there is this banner right now. Now, again, this is a gotcha game. This is Dokkan Battle. This is Bandai. This is Akatsuki. They're trying to get you to save or spend your stones and spend money before, you know, Hero Celebration and Christmas comes. They're trying to wipe you out. So what do they do? They give us this wonderful, overflowing gratitude Dokkan Festival banner. This has World Tournament Goku, Majunior, Yamcha, God Goku, Bardock. He's okay. He's not great. Raditz is a joke, and Super Vegeta fall off very quickly. But post EZA, he probably will be very viable again. Hopefully, he needs defense. But of course, they dropped this very, very, very hype banner, and I'm sure I've seen a lot of you talk about this on my my posts and my videos and my comments and my Twitter, but it sounds like a lot of you are either hopping in with red coins, you're going to purchase got Goku or these guys, or you're going to do some summons or buy some tickets on global. And you know what? I can't even, I can't be mad at you. I mean, this banner is very, very, very good. Besides three units on here, I think the first four are phenomenal, right? God Goku in my top 10 TURs. Yamcha might sneak in there too, honestly. My junior, number one. Goku, probably number two for me. I'm, I'm debating between him and him for TURs, but no easy A TURs. I'm just talking Dokkan Fest TURs as is, right? But Majunior by far, he is still the World Tournament King. He crushes the Cybermen events. He is just good in all Super Battle Road stuff, uh, Red Zone, you name it. World Tournament Goku, Majunior, and God Goku all do very, very well. And it pains me, man, because I do want to dupe in my God Goku. I have... Him sitting at 79%. I have World Tournament Goku sitting at 90 And I have one copy only of Super Saiyan God Goku. So I'm, I'm going to hold back. I got a lot of stone saved up. I don't need any of these units. The way I play this game, and I think a lot of people should, save your money. Summon. If you get the unit, you get one copy. Call it good. Hop out. Save your stones for the next big thing coming, right? You will pull all these units in the future just by playing the game. So don't try to go for the Rainbow Star. I mean, unless you're a whale and you don't care about money, go for whatever you want to do. But had to touch on that quickly. But back to the Dream Jump scans. 
the hero celebration. Like I said, we should be getting some more information very, very soon. Hopefully we'll see some kits for these guys very soon. Expect these heroes units live when you wake up on Tuesday morning, the 21st. I'm 99% sure that's when they're going to be live, but Monday night into Tuesday sometime in there, right? But let me know in the comments down below if you guys are excited. I am very, very pumped for this hero celebration. I finally have some stones saved up to go nuts. We have summons coming up. We have uh, collabs coming up, I think, if I can get it to work out. But I'm very excited to provide some uh, good, fun heroes content for you all. But don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new, like the video, all that good stuff. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for the support. And until next time, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye, guys.